Hi there astronauts, it's me Moritz from Rocket Show. In the last video you have learned how to set up the free version of Rocket Show and how to assemble your device and in this video I'll show you how to add a separate USB audio card and uh, create your first composi composition uh, and play it over this device. So the first question is, why do we need a separate audio card? Why can't we simply use, simply use uh, as I've shown you in the last video, the uh, headphone outputs? Uh, there are many reasons. First of all, uh, you need more uh, output ports to play st stereo backing tracks and a separate click track. So we would, uh, of course, at least need, uh, need uh, three outputs. And a uh, second very important reason is you need uh, for professional setups like uh, PA or so um, better, be better quality outputs, output ports. The, the headphone output of the Raspberry may not be sufficient for, um, for uh, high quality PAs. So what I got here is, um, is a complete Audio 6. I like this card very much because it's very stable. We've used it live uh, in live environments a lot. And as you can see, we have um, here two main outputs and two additional output ports. So that'd be enough for us to use uh, for, uh, for uh, stereo backing tracks and uh, click ports. So we can, uh, for example, use these two here for our backing tracks and put our click track on one of these or both, doesn't matter. Uh, and as you can see here, we even got MIDI in and out. Um, I'll show you in another video what you can use these MIDI ports in Rocket Show for. So, um, to, to start this, um, uh, to start the setup, we simply need to connect uh, this audio card to our Rocket Show device. Um, therefore, we only uh, need the USB cable, plug it in best before you boot it up, and you're good to go. Um, don't forget to connect the device to your network, otherwise, you won't be able to access it over your browser. Okay, as you can see here, I navigated to rocketshow.local. Uh, I've shown you in the last video how to set up the device to come to this point here. Um, we have here the overview of Rocket Show. Um, what we're gonna do now is we go into settings and take a closer look at the audio part here. Um, you can see here, the output is uh, at the moment routed to the headphone jack. We've tested this port in the last video, but uh, we won't. We will change this uh, thing now here to go to our connected complete Audio 6 USB audio card device. Um, as you can see here, I've connected it already. Um, if you're not sure uh, whether your sound card is supported or not, there's a list uh, with all compatible Alsa Linux sound cards on the internet. I've put the link in the description on the video below there. Um, this one here is supported fine. We can see here um, there's already a default audio bus edit. Um, I keep it like this. We can uh, change the channel settings here. Or we will leave this uh, also the, uh, on the default values and we'll add a second bus. Um, maybe well, maybe let's change uh, the naming for us uh, to make it clear. That's the one for the back track. So um, these outputs here route to the front of house mix for the audience, and this one here is uh, for our monitor. Uh, we can add the click track here or any additional <coughs> any additional uh, comments. I don't know, maybe hints or so for the band. Uh, they will hear only on their monitor mix. Let's save the settings. Okay, so now we've um, set up our uh, audio card and we've prepared two channels for the audio output to go to. What we're gonna do next is we create our first composition and test our setup. Therefore, we change the menu here and go to Compositions. You can see here there's already an example composition set up. We've gone through this in the first video uh, and we'll create a new one 
this time. Um, the song name or the composition name is not even close. So we can add uh, notes if we want to. Uh, and of course, most important part, we can add files to our composition. So what, what we can see here, um, we have an upload part here where we can add new files or we have a media, media library tab here where we can add existing files already on the device. What we're gonna do now is um, we'll add new files to the, to the device we can then later on use in our composition. Therefore, we're gonna simply drop those files here into this uh, part here. That's um, the file for, for uh, with the backing tracks for the front of house, for the audience. Um, and I'll add the click track here or the monitor track also. Okay, uh, those files will be uploaded to the device. Just gonna wait until it's processed. Okay, and we can see now we have those two new files here added on the device. I'll add the backtracks, um, uh, sorry, yes, the backtracks file first and assign it to the backtracks audio bus. We set up with the settings tab, simply as that. And we'll add a second file, uh, our click track, which is for the band's monitor mix. Simply as that. Save it. And those two files will now be played in sync together. So the audience can hear our backtracks file at the same time as the band can hear their monitor mix. We can. Um, Add uh, additional settings here on the right side, like uh, mute this file, we don't need it at the moment. Or maybe um, if you haven't uh, exported it exactly in your DAW, I don't know, um, you can further adjust um, the synchronization of those two files, add a delay here or add a delay in the, in the other file uh, and synchronize them better. But uh, it's not needed for those two files. They're exported at the exact same point, which I which I would also recommend. It's much more easier than uh, sync them later on here. Okay, and if we switch to our start menu point here, we can see we have our new composition set up here. Um, there's also a time indication here on the right side. Um, yeah, I've added my speakers to the audio sound card um, because I have only two. I added one to our click track output, so that's uh, output three and four, and one to our back tracks output, that's the main output I've shown you at the be beginning of this video. Uh, let's test our setup here. Okay, the song is being played now. Um, and you, you can hear the backtracks are started here in the background. Some, uh, some intro here. Click track sets in. All perfectly in sync. Yeah, so everything seems to be working now. Yeah, that's already it. Um, you've seen how easy it is to set up Rocket Show with a new composition uh, and add files for your backtracks and for your monitor mix for the band, for example. Um, I've shown you in this example how to use uh, WAV format audio files, but uh, there are many more formats supported. Just check out the website to see uh, the most popular uh, formats listed there. Uh, in the next videos we'll show you how to add a video track to play also in sync with the back tracks and with the monitor tracks for example. 
or even a light track to control your lighting and special effect show. Uh, subscribe to this channel to stay up to date, that's always a good idea of course. Um, see you soon, have fun, bye bye astronauts.